Hi guys, it's Bree. Welcome to my channel, Just Breezy, and thanks so much for checking it out. If you're not a subscriber already, please consider being one and hitting the bell for notifications so that you are notified each time new content is loaded. If you haven't seen my video that we just posted, three fire safety tips for parents to consider when they have children with autism, check that out because this is a little add-on to that. What I decided to do for some of my videos is something called Just Breezy's Afterthoughts. I'm realizing very quickly that when you do videos with tips, it needs to be kind of quick and concise, but many topics aren't as easy as one, two, three steps. And I know this not because I'm a parent of children with autism, I'm not. The kids that you see in my video, they are my children, but they don't have autism. I am someone who is a professional in the autism community. I'm a parent trainer, I'm trained in ABA, I've been a school consultant and administrator, and I give trainings on these topics. Now, what I wanted to do was talk a little bit more about the tip of practicing a fire drill with an actual sound of a smoke detector which I know is so much easier said than done. I've seen both adults and children have horrific responses to that sound. I've had parents come up to me to say, please don't run a fire drill today. Please wait for the day that my child, my young adult doesn't attend program, or we don't do that in the home because if we do, he's going to be so upset for the rest of the day. It's gonna cause anxiety. And again, I get it to a certain extent because I am not a parent of a child with autism. But what I do know is this, if we don't work on these skills and an actual fire occurs, the ramifications of not practicing it can be deadly. That's just the facts. So what I'm gonna do is talk a little bit more about that and hopefully something I say resonates with you and can help. Now, for most of you, you know about desensitizing, which basically means that you are helping your child uh, become acclimated to some experience, a sight, a sound, a smell, a or a touch by exposing them to that over time. Same thing goes for the sound of a smoke detector. Now, let's play it out. Maybe the first time you run a fire drill in your home, you're taking your child outside, perhaps it's you, your husband, another family member. You're setting off the smoke detector in the home and from outside they can hear it, but it's not as loud. They can observe your family members coming outside to their meeting place. Maybe the next time, or maybe the third drill, they're coming in the house, they're standing next to the door. So as soon as they hear it, they can go out of the house with a family member. As you continue to have more drills, the idea is to move your child further and farther into the house so they can hear that alarm even louder and need a little bit more time to get out of the home. Here's the thing, I used to work in a day habilitation center and we would run drills. Legally, we have to run them. And what we would find out from them is, oh, Joey down the hall on the second floor, when there's a fire drill, he refuses to get out of a room. So we know we need two staff to go there if God forbid there's a drill. Oh, Emily on the third floor is frightened and she's gonna run into the bathroom. But guess what? If we didn't run these drills when Joey and Emily were there, made up names by the way, we would never know the kind of support that we have to put in place if God forbid an actual emergency occurred. Same thing goes for you and your family at home. If you don't practice this, you're not going to know, is your child going to just dart out the door? Are they going to hide in a closet? Are they going to go to try to get their favorite Thomas the Tank Train or Elmo doll? You need to practice so that you can see all of these things happen and know how to fine tune your family's plan. Okay guys, if you are watching this and you're a family of a child or a young adult with autism and you have another tip, you have a way that you practice with your family, please leave it in the comments below so that others can read and learn from it. As always, I thank you so much for checking out the channel. Again, consider subscribing so that you know when new content is loaded and you could be part of the conversation. Thanks so much guys and have a great day.